Jake, you know, I'm sure you, you thought you could get back to where you were pretty quickly, but did you expect to be this good this quickly after that much of a layoff? Um, you know, you don't really know what to expect coming back. But, you know, like I said last time out, um, I was able to look at a couple things where I felt like I was getting off mechanically and try to make those adjustments um, while I was going through a pretty slow process of coming back. So, um, you know, that seems to have paid off a little bit and, um, you know, able to come back um, close to where I feel like I left off. How has that paid off? What's even slightly different? Yeah, I noticed I was getting, like, I was falling off hard to the first base side, and my head was kind of leaning. So I was, when I was down doing my rehab stuff, it was kind of trying to get everything to go right to the catcher, like everything almost through the catcher where I feel like I could land on uh, my front leg and almost stand there or even take steps uh, directly towards home plate. So that was a big thing I worked on and not flying open. So, um, you know, that's where I feel like I get in trouble, and I, I've said that before when I fly open you know the off speed isn't as sharp and the fastball tends to leak more over the plate so um that was a constant uh that's what i was constantly working on down there what was the conversation with buck after the sixth uh you know we had talked before you know we're we're trying to build up pitches in the major leagues which is kind of you know a, it's more high stress you know we played the braves and then the phillies uh you know teams that were in our division and that we want to beat so it's what do we what's the right approach and he said that they had me for around 80 and he's like he said he wasn't going to send me out there for you know one batter so he, what do we get to 77 he's like that's good the next few turns are on five days so um you know he was like let's focus on getting ready for the next one did you feel like you go out for the seven yeah i felt really good um you know i noticed in the the braves one where you know looking at some video there were a couple things that changed in the um, last inning, as far as I, don't, I mean, I didn't feel like I was getting tired against the Braves, but I uh, noticed a couple of mechanical things that I was that changed in that sixth inning against them, and um, you know they stayed really good tonight. So that was the main focus. How, how tough is that to balance that feeling like you can go out there, but knowing the long term, of, you know, part of it? Yeah, that's tough. I mean, you want to go out there and compete. Um, you know, these guys did a great job of scoring one in the first, and then you know my goal is to try to keep it uh, keep them at uh, zero. So. Um, you know, it's it's tough. You want to be out there, but at the same time, you know, it took that long to get back. Um, you don't want to do anything um, to jeopardize being here for the, you know, the hopefully the push we go on and hopefully into the World Series. Going from 76 to, you said 80 was your number today, is obviously a very small increase. Yeah. I mean, it, is there a level of impatience on your part wanting to... Mm, sort of you know, I think it's more. looking at the long-term goal here, um, you know, so... You, you got to take a step back and try to be smart about it. Um, and like I said, you know, you you throw in minor league games and try to get your pitch count up, but it doesn't account for how stressful big league innings can be. So, um, you know, it's a new stress level and just trying to check off that box and you know, hopefully in the next couple, um, be able to go out there for more pitches than that. You haven't thrown your changeup very often the last couple times, is it? Because you haven't needed to, or how many there... times did I throw it tonight? I want to say. Two. Two. Well, at least, at least by the pitch track. Four. Deck. Four. Okay. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I mixed it in. <laughs> the changeup in your curveball. Uh, my changeup was actually good. Um, it was just you know it's reading swings. You know you see my goal. You know I'm trying to read swings um, and you know pitch off of that. You know go in with a game plan and then kind of see what their approach is. You know you know you know what you want to do and then you see how they're. Um, trying to attack you, and you see, try to counter that and keep, a, keep them off balance. So, um, yeah, I think I ended up throwing four and a couple curveballs, so mix it all in. What's it like for you to watch the uh, the event that Diaz has, has become and yeah. your confidence level in him when he's out there? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, he's done a great job, um, and you're comfortable anytime, you know, he's in the game. So, um, you know, and that's, that's for the rest of the guys, too. You know, Lugo came in, and then Trevor May, both of them did a great job, and you know, then Diaz came in and closed it out. So, um, you know, it's it's fun to watch. You know, we got a good thing going, and that's the goal: keep it going. I know you say your goal is to put up zeros, but when when the other pitcher after the first inning is putting up zeros, is that how much does that add to everything? That's you know, that stuff's out of, that's out of my control. You know, that's um, 2000 what 18. I noticed I was looking at things, looking at video and stuff, and you know, it was games of past and I was like why you know then why look at those it's that you know those are done they're out of your control so you know that's kind of how I approach it you know, the goal is to make the pitch I need to make and um, you know 
we have faith in this offense to go out there and put up runs. You know, that it, Noel's, Noel's done a great job against us. And, you know, this team did a good job of scoring early, and then the goal was to keep it there for them. Your first start back, there was a lot of emotion. Your second start back was here, uh, a lot of emotion. Does this feel kind of normal now again? Um, it feels good to get it out there. You know, um, like I said, I love pitching here, love pitching in front of our fans. And, um, you know, the reception that I got both times has been awesome. So um, it's been great.